name is Mr. Bilski. When I moved to this country, it was a horrible trip. Me and my sweet Alenka wanted to spend our twilight years here in the United States. But we could not afford to come over until I had retired. And even then we had to take passage on a cargo ship. But when we left Poland, the ship was cramped. We did not have much food or water, and people were getting sick. My sweet Alenka was one of the unfortunate ones. But she got sick and died just before we made it to our new land. I, I was then forced to create a new life in a new land all by myself. I had lost my partner, my strength, and the love of my life. I was devastated. Plus, I did not have any family here, or even know anyone. But I did not have any family back home either, so I decided to stay here. What's that? Oh, yeah, I know Mr. Bilski. He lives at the uh, last house at the end of the street. I'm sorry? Yeah, I remember when he moved here. Hey, hey, hold on one second. See, he moved here early summer, because I was about to get out of school for the year. Yeah, he was a quiet man, mostly kept to himself. I mean, I would speak to him and he would wave, but that was about it. He never really said anything. Oh, but uh, one time, I saw him carrying groceries to his house, and he dropped them on the ground. So I went over and I helped him out. And he told me thank you. And that, that was the first time I ever heard him speak. He <laughs> sounded kind of funny. He spoke with this weird accent. And Actually, it was hard to understand. But from then on, when I would pass by, he would say, hello, or good morning. Every time, though, I got this feeling that he wanted to say more, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure he was lonely, because I never saw him with anyone, or even talked to anyone. Hey, I gotta go to youth. I'll talk to you later. More importantly, I did not leave my house much. Uh, sometimes I would go to the grocery store or the drugstore, but that was about it. The only person to ever talk to me was that nice young man down the street. Everyone else would simply pass by like I was not even here. But that nice young man would always stop and say hello every time he passed my house. I remember the time that I dropped my groceries and he helped me pick them up. I told him thank you, but I really wanted to invite him onto my porch to talk to me, but I did not. People were not very nice to me here, and I did not want to scare him off. <laughs> Forgot my stuff. <clears throat> but you know what, now that I think of it, I wanted to invite Mr. Bilski to church with us on Sunday. So the next time I passed by his house, he was sitting on his porch, and there was my chance. I sat down beside him, and wouldn't you know, we talked for almost an hour. I mean, he's a nice and interesting guy, but he doesn't talk much because of his accent. See, he's from Poland. He uh, told me about his trip over here, and how his wife had died, and he didn't have any friends. It was so sad. But I noticed sitting on the table next to him was a Bible. So I said, you need to come to church with us on Sunday. That's a great place to meet nice people. And he said yes. Let me tell you, that invitation to go to church changed my life. I've gotten to meet so many nice people and gone to so many enjoyable events. I just wish my sweet Alenka could be here to enjoy them with me. Oh, she so loved people and loved the Lord. She used to say, invite someone to church and see the impact God can make in their life. Oh, Elenka, you were so right. Thank you.